Section 5.3, example 2. So we have a triangle. We have little a, little b, little c. So it seems like we know all the sides. So we'd call this side, side, side. We don't know any angles. Um, so we have c is 10, so I'll put that on the longer side, right? It doesn't really matter which side is which. Um, b is 7, so I'll make that the second longest side. Again, just estimating. And then a is 5. Right, I can rotate this and it's all the same. But I think it's helpful to see the biggest and the longest. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use law of cosines for side, side, side. Um, we don't have, last time I was talking about um, worrying about which one's obtuse or acute. With law of cosines, it doesn't matter. This will solve for obtuse or acute. So it doesn't matter which one we solve for. So I'm just going to solve for A because that's the first formula. It really doesn't matter. You can solve for any of them. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cosine of a. I just arbitrarily chose this one. You could solve for any of the three angles. So let's go ahead and start plugging in. So we get 5 squared, which is 25, equals b squared or 49 plus 10 squared or 100 minus 2 times b times c. So 2 times 7 times 10 which would be 140 times cosine of a. So we have to do a little bit of messy algebra to solve for a. So we get um, 25 is 149 minus 140 cosine of a. So we'll minus 149, because we're trying to isolate cosine of a, minus 149. So negative 124 is negative 140 cosine of A. So again, we're isolating cosine of A, so divide by negative 140. And we get a long decimal, 8857 equals cosine of A. And then since we have cosine, we need to do cosine inverse to solve. To get rid of the cosine. So cosine of inverse will solve for the angle. Cosine inverse. And again, we don't have to worry about acute or obtuse because cosine in the range of cosine inverse is 0 to 180. So that'll find obtuse or acute angles. So we don't have to worry about that weird case. So we can do cosine inverse. And then if you have a calculator like mine, you can click on it or use second ANS. That way we can use all the decimal places. It's more accurate. So A is 27.66 degrees. All right, and then to solve for B or C, we're going to go through those same two options as last time. If we use law or cosines, we don't care if they're obtuse or acute. We can solve for B or C. If we want to use law of sines, which is more efficient, we need to solve for the smaller angle. So how do I know which one's smaller? So we know A is 27.66. Um, so in this case, B is 7 and C is 10, which means B, again, is the smaller angle because B is the smaller side. And this only matters if you're using law of sines. If you're using law of cosines, it does not matter which one you solve for. But since we're going to use law of sines to go a little bit faster, we need to do B over C. So if C is obtuse, law of sines will give you the wrong answer. So we're going to solve for B. And again, that means B is an acute angle because it's smaller, but C is possibly obtuse. If you use law of cosines, again, it finds it. If you use law of sines, it might not. So we're going to say sine of A over little a is sine of B over little b. So sine of 27.66 over a, which was 5, equals sine of b over 7. Multiply by 7, 7, and back to that calculator. Again, um, you might want to double check your in degrees if anything's coming out weird, so make sure you're in degrees. So 7 times sine of 27.66 divided by 5. 
So 0.6499 equals sine of B. And now we can use sine inverse to get rid of the sine. And that's how we solve for angles. So you can do second sine for sine inverse. You can click on it depending on your calculator or use ANS. Um, that way you can use all the decimal places. And B is 40.54 degrees. And now we can just use 180 to find the third angle. I always use that for the third angle. All right, what do I mean? We just do 180 minus the other two angles. So minus 40.54 and minus 27.66. And yeah, we get 111.8. Um, so it's an obtuse angle. So if we had used C in law of signs, it actually would have given us the wrong answer. So that's why you always save the largest angle for last. Um, unless you're using law of cosines. Law of cosines does not matter, but law of sines will not find obtuse angles. So there we go. See you back for example three.